Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a testing new makeup. I'm actually recreating the look that you've seen in a couple videos. I had so many requests to do that. It is a glam silver smoky eye. I was wearing lashes for that video and then I took them off and was gonna wash my face and posted that photo on Instagram. And I actually like the look better without lashes, shocking. But I know a lot of you on YouTube wanted to see the full on full glam look. It's the exact same look, just one with one without lashes. So I'm going to be using a ton of new products. I'm gonna put some of them on the screen in case you're curious about these products that I'm going to show you right now. And also I did an updated brow routine, which I think will be up before this video. If it is, I will link it in this video for you guys to go check out. So brows are already done and we're gonna wanna get started on eyes first because we are working with darker colors. Though I didn't have too much issue with the palette we're gonna be using, but just to be safe, we're gonna start on eyes. This is the palette we're going to be using today. It's the Natasha Denona Glam Palette. This is so beautiful and so easy to work with. You could really do this look with any shadows, but honestly, this makes it so easy. So I love the formulation of these colors. Look at how beautiful this palette is. So this is what we're going to be using to create that look that I already did. I'm going to start off with smoke here. We're just going to start to create some depth in our outer corner. And I just kind of stamp it on to create the shape I like. And then once the majority of the product is on the lid, then I will take some time to just lightly blend the edges. I've been liking a winged out look, so I'm just going to gradually wing this out a bit. These shadows virtually blend themselves though. They're so easy to blend. That's just one dip into the palette. So much pigment and it looks like I just poked myself in the eye. <laughs> it already looks like I use more than one shade just from that one dip into the pan. Taking the blend shade, I'm just going to lightly dust that around the edges. And it's just gonna create a little bit more interest and help it blend a little bit more. Then taking a little bit of this shade crease, we're gonna use all the mattes in the palette. I'm going to put this in the lower crease, right in this section here. So I want a little bit more depth in this area, but not as dark as that color. This is just gonna help make the lid pop. Almost like we're doing a cut crease, but we're just using shadow. We're not gonna cut the crease first. Now taking this shade lash line in the palette, we're just going to gradually deepen up this look in the outer corner. And I do buff it along the lash line and I have this sort of triangular shape that I do that I bring up and then buff it out. And I only concentrate this on the outer corner. And this is where you can get as deep as you want it. I kind of had it mid-tone in my look. I didn't do it this deep. I just kind of worked with this color and just blended it out. Again, all you really need to do is buff around those edges. And these shadows work so seamlessly with each other. Then I kind of just use a ton of different shades in this palette. I'm gonna actually use the outer lid shade, which it suggests. I'm gonna spray my brush a little bit with some Fix Plus. Place it on the outer eyelid, lightly over that black, mainly just beside it, and then kind of blend it, as I said, lightly over the black, because we still wanna keep that depth and not totally cover it. Next, I'm going to mix this shade, this shade, this shade, and then we're going to top it off with this because it's glittery. So I don't like mixing that one. I just kind of like using it as a topper. I'm gonna do a lot of mixing to get our custom color. And I like to press it right up into my natural crease. It's gonna give the illusion of a cut crease, but just with the shadow. The last step I did was take a little bit of this shade right here it is very glittery, so I only recommend using a slight amount. It will have a little bit of fallout, and I just press it on the center of my lid. I don't have a new eyeliner I'm gonna try. 
I was considering doing my magnetic lashes today, but I'm going to save that for my next trying new makeup because I wanna kind of stay true to what I did. So I'm just gonna quickly do my line. For mascara, I'm using this L'Oreal Air Volume. Packaging's pretty cool. I like the wand. It gets a lot of product. So as I said, I really like this look just with mascara, shockingly. This is a nice mascara for volume. I don't feel like it does too much in the length department for my lashes specifically. Still really love my Maybelline The Falsies Lash Lift. That's my current favorite. So while I wait for my mascara to dry, I don't wanna open my eyes too much in fear that it's gonna wreck my eyeshadow. I'm just going to put on my lashes. I'm using the Kiss Gala Lashes which are so pretty, but as I said, I felt even better without lashes for this look, but I wanna stay true to YouTube, which is where I got the request. It's a rare occasion where I like a look better without lashes, and this is one of them. Shocking. I don't know why I'm so shocked. I feel like the makeup speaks for itself, and the shape of it, you don't really need lashes. I wanted to do this before applying my makeup, this is the Inky List Caffeine Eye Cream. I got this in my haul. And then Inky List ended up sending me a package with this in it, which is so funny. So I'm so happy to try out more from the brand, but I did pick up a couple things from the sale. And I picked up this Caffeine Eye Cream because I used to use a product from MAC, which was a Caffeine Eye Cream that I felt was perfect for bridal makeup. It's nice to put this on in the morning, waken the eye, feels really nice super thin. I don't want anything too thick underneath my makeup, at least for my eyes, <laughs> my under eye area. This feels really nice consistency. Let's hope it wakens me up more. <laughs> then I also recently got in PR a ton of new reformulated Quo beauty products, which you can get at Shoppers Drug Mart. And this is their primer. It's the Golden Glow Primer. I have yet to try this. It comes with a pump. How many times? Seriously though. Is this an air pump and it's just not working? So the pump's not working for me. I've been doing that forever. So I'm just going to take a little bit. I'm gonna start off with that much. I need more. My skin literally ate that. I could tell by the consistency. If you have dry skin like me, I'm like, that's not going far. Hopefully that's sufficient. Not sure why the pump's not working though. I hate air pumps with a passion. This has a smell to it too. Okay, <laughs> I'm not a fan of this. Sorry, two issues. See how it looks like on the skin. Do you know how peanut M&Ms smell? But sometimes like it doesn't smell good. <laughs> it looks pretty on the skin. The packaging wasn't working. And it smells like peanut M&Ms to me. Like the stinky kind. <laughs> Moving along. Planning on doing a project pan to start off 2021. This be one of the products in there. This clearly isn't new. But I feel like I need some pore filling. So this is the Tarte Clean Slate Smoothing Primer. And then for foundation today, I'm using the new Huda Beauty Stick Foundation. This is incredible. Beautiful on the skin. I'm using the shade Baklava 340G. I will be matching my body. My face is lighter than my body, so don't be alarmed when I put this on my skin. It looks dark. But trust me, we will blend this out. I find it goes on dark, but really blends out not that color. Can you see? Like it really blends out beautifully. So I'm going to just apply this all over the face. I do feel like this would work best for those with normal to oily skin. I've used this with a little bit of oil underneath and it glided on so beautifully. This wears incredibly well, very smoothing on the skin. I actually like this better than the Hourglass. It has more product, but just in general, it looks better and wears better on my skin. There's also no comparison between this and the liquid that Huda Beauty came out with. The liquid I did not like. It had such a strong fragrance and also it looked really cakey and didn't wear nicely on my skin. It's full on full coverage, the liquid. Like as soon as you put it on, like 
the most full coverage I've ever tried. This one is quite buildable. Wears better, looks better, just everything better, fragrance free. Like it is so good. So I'm back on to using my KKW concealer. I have the shade eight. I don't have anything new. This one goes nicely with this foundation. And I do use quite a bit of this, as you can tell. I ordered this product at the end of the sale. I am so excited to try it. This is the new One Size Beauty Ultimate Setting Powder that is made by Patrick Star. I just got the mini because I have a million setting powders and I've made it a point to just buy the minis because I like to try all sorts of different stuff and if I'm not gonna use things up, I may as well just get the mini. Anyways, <laughs> such a cute packaging and I cannot wait to try this out. You can see the tone right there. I'm just going to set underneath my eyes first can already tell I'm gonna like this powder. <laughs> Probably should have got the full size. It's super finely milled and it doesn't make your under eye look crepey in the slightest. It's really, really nice. I honestly expected Patrick Starr to create the best setting powder. Everyone went crazy for his MAC one, which I still have, I love. That one had a more pink tone to it. This one's the shade translucent, but I do feel like the tone is slightly different. Very finely milled. I'm looking smooth. Oh yeah, my face just eats this up. Oh, I wish I got the big size now. <laughs> Why does that always happen to me in the minis lately? I guess that's a good thing. I just have to use it up. The base is looking super smooth. I'm loving how it's looking so far. That powder with the foundation, I like it even more now. <laughs> it looks so good. For bronzer, I'm using the new Quo one that I got in the mail. This is the shade Natural Tan. I love and dislike the packaging. I thought the packaging looks super sleek, but because of these tins, I don't know if you've ever used a lip balm with this sort of tin, they can be kind of hard to open sometimes. So I just kind of put it on an angle when I close it so that it doesn't totally seal on me again because I couldn't even get open the blush. I had to get my husband to pry it open. So it was a little bit hard with having nails. But otherwise, I've tried the formula and it's really, really nice. Then for blush, I have two here also from Quo. I got a big package from them and wanted to test out a bunch of these. I was using a different color and I really like these. These give me Glossier vibes. It is a very sheer cream. So that's why I brought the powder down just for this look. I feel like I'm going to need the powder on top. We will start with this. I will show you. It should be okay over top of powder. This one I find a little bit more pigmented than the nude bronze that I used previous. It's really pretty, very vibrant. <laughs> like that was just a dab. I found the other one a little bit more sheer. This one definitely shows up better on my skin. I'm just going to set that with a little bit of the powder. And this was the one that I had a hard time getting open. So I just put it on sideways <laughs> so I could open this. And this color is so pretty. It's in rose water. I love it. I think this color looks so good with silver. I think pinks and silver is the best combo. I love this powder because it doesn't leave a cast. It truly just sinks into the skin. I'm gonna use this just for a quick nose contour, very lightly. I was wearing this in the video, which I think I'm gonna go with still. I just got the new Natasha Denona one which I really want to wear too. I'll have to save it. This was the one I was using. It's the Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette in Rose Gold. And I kind of just ran my brush through all the shades. And even brought it on my cheeks a bit. I'm just gonna finish up the eyes by bringing the shade Blend underneath. Then I'm gonna do the shade Smoke about halfway. 
and then lash line the outer third. Then just running a black pencil in my waterline and doing a light coat of mascara. And then for lips, I was just wearing these two products in that video, but I wanted to try out a lipstick, which I feel like will amp it up even more. Stick to that coral family for the lips, but this is like a mocha color. This is Sweet Tea from Morphe. I kept hearing everyone talk about this lip pencil and had to try it myself. I saw a kit on Sephora with this in it, so I bought it. And yes, Sephora Canada has Morphe. It's like the perfect neutral. You can wear it with warmer lips or cooler. It just goes with everything. It's like the perfect color. The formula is incredible. And I personally don't use a lot of Morphe, but I really love this formula. And then House of Siage sent over some of their nude lipsticks and you can purchase these separately. You don't have to get the bow case. And this is Nude Sakura, which I thought would go perfectly with this look. I just wanted to put a base down and then go in with this gloss, which has a beautiful coral tone to it. Coral and silver. This is me circa 2009. This look right here. Then to finish it off, just spraying my Charlotte Tilbury, which nothing will ever replace this. I've come to the conclusion I'm set for life for setting spray. I'm just gonna go off camera, let this dry, finish off my hair, and I'll be right back. This is the completed makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this trying new makeup tutorial where I showed you the look that I was wearing in my previous couple videos, recreated as well as testing some new makeup for it. Super easy to do, very glam, looks amazing without lashes. You don't have to wear lashes, looks good with lashes. This is just one of those looks that makes you feel super glam and put together and perfect for the holiday season like nothing screams holidays like a silver smoky eye especially for new year's so you can wear this coming up i love pairing silver with pink or coral i think it's just a beautiful color combination so this for me is like Cheryl circa 2009 as I said and I absolutely love it still so thank you guys so so much for watching if you have not subscribed already definitely do so by hitting the red button below the bell if you want to be notified of all of my future videos and I will see you guys in my next one